YouTube, what's up, man? This was a weekend league game. It was crazy. Obviously, man, you guys don't watch me play weekend league. You always got to drink a little bit while you play weekend league, man. The game is crazy right now, especially with all the new Muck cards. The team MVPs just dropped, so on the weekend, I love the stream, man. You can check out the stream live. The link is below, twitch.tv slash dub dot. Definitely drink a couple beers when bad things happen. Got to take a shot at the Hennessy. That's what it's about. That's why I always have fun playing Weekend League. But this is a game I'm playing this kid named Freshman Phenom. I don't know who he is. At this point, I believe I'm like 22-1. and one. I had lost one game. If you haven't watched that game I lost against Goal Line, it is the last video right before this one. So check that out too, man. But I'm playing this kid. He has EA jerseys. And the first pass play he goes to, I pick him off with Cam Bam Chancellor. Love that 6-3 height over the middle of the field. Jump, he obviously was throwing the ball to the guy further down the field. But with that height and that jump from Cam Chancellor, making a huge play to start the game. Dump it off. Dallas Clark is my new tight end, man. He's had, he's had huge games for me. I love Dallas Clark because he has crazy route running. Can get tons of uh, route chemistries. And he can spin move really well. He has over 90 spin. Just a, a complete package at the tight end position. Obviously not the best run blocker, but as you guys see, I really don't run the ball that often. But when I do, Ricky Williams will tote the rock for me. I'm a level 58 mutt. I'm not that high. My team overall is a 90 right now. You see Ricky jumping for me. That's great. Yeah, my team overall is 91. We hit Ricky out here in the backfield. Got to make a move. Fight through that. Get into the end zone. Ricky Williams, 7 nothing, man. Looking like after you catch a pick on the second play from, from, the, from his line of scrimmage, any score touchdown feels good. We get a sack right there to Davion Clowney, the predator, bringing the crib at this guy. He's in split close. I like to bring everybody, put him in the box, you know, really attack when people are running split close. And here's his play of the game, knocks it up. And, of course, Tyreek Hill is going to come out of nowhere, catch it, and take it to the crib. And this is why we drink. You got to take a shot at a Hennessy after a play like that happens to you, man. That's the only way you can really come over plays like this. You can't get mad. How can you get frustrated? That's just a fluky game. That guy didn't earn his touchdown. He didn't beat my defense. I feel fine. It's 7-7. The game is still mine. We take a shot. But like I said, boom, throws it up into triple coverage, knocks the ball up. And, of course, my players aren't there. Tyreek Hill is, catches the ball, takes it to the Baja, and we take a shot of the Hennessy. But like I said, I'm probably 10-plus beers in now. This is a late game. And uh, after the Hennessy, starting to feel it a little bit. Want to have fun. That's pretty much what Weekend League is about, man. So you can't get mad about plays like that. You just got to have fun. And there's nothing more fun than scrambling with Michael Vick, as I do right there, for a nice little 11-yard pickup. Looking for my drag or Dallas Clark. He plays pretty good defense right here, but I play maker back over. Calvin Johnson, Megatron, holding on to the ball for me. Blitzing a lot of people at me here. Now he actually gets the sack right there with Brian Dawkins. My reads are a little bit slow right now. I'm seeing a lot of people open I could hit, and we get shedded right there. Really try to hold on the ball for a long time. Get to a fourth and 12. Go with the hitch route to Dallas Clark. I should have left him there, but I playmakered him up. Why catch it? And it looks like Brian Dawkins or somebody hit me. Just hit Dallas Clark there, man. Didn't hold on to it. But... I mean, Dallas Clark makes a lot of plays. Can't expect him to hold on to everything. He throws a little baby in route over here to Randy Moss. So we're feeling all right. He goes for the corner route, Pat Pete. You guys watch, you know I love Pat Pete. Patrick Peters and Jillian Ramsey pretty much are going to be my outside corners the rest of the year. Hope they keep getting updates. Patrick Peterson might be due for one soon, even though he just had that snow card, and he's a dog. Height, and obviously plays the ball at like Goon. I love people being over six foot in my secondary. So, now, like I said, even after the fluke play, I still had a ball. I still get the ball at half. Everything's going fine. Moss in the middle. I'm going to play make him back to the left. Doesn't hold on, though. Tough catch for Randy Moss. Really playing wild right now. Michael Vick looking to go up top. Calvin Johnson, he swats the ball. This guy swats a lot of passes. You guys will see as the game goes on how many passes he swats. Maybe that's his way of not getting high ball, not getting aggressive caught on. But he definitely swatted some passes that I would have picked off. But God bless him. Underneath the Dallas Clark. Pick up a couple. Nothing crazy. Just got to score before half here. That's all it's about. Here we go with a little looking up top right here. Michael Vick just honestly just didn't have an arm. And as I see, he went for a swat right there. God bless him. I feel like Vick should be able to throw this ball 70 yards. Once again, we're going for it again. I mean, my receivers are getting a little tight. Swats that. Could have picked that one off too. I'm getting... <laughs> I'm going for all the big plays right now. Get to a fourth and nine. We're going to go for a playmaker up. 
He's going to hesitate a little bit, and we hit the crossing route to Randy Moss. First down in field goal range. Give it off to Ricky here. I just want to run a little bit of clock, make sure he doesn't get the ball back. But Ricky takes a hit there on a pass. Incomplete gets me to a third and six. High ball curl. Julio Jones, team MVP, fully powered up. Next play underneath, Ricky Williams, Sean Taylor blasts me. Got plenty of time here, man. The time is pretty much on my side. Going two curls, looking for one playmaker, Dallas Clark. But he drops it, man. Got to come up with them tough catches, man. I swear he has 99 every catch stat. Next play, he blitzes me. I'm just going to take my field goal. No need to even call a timeout. I can get this field goal off with seven seconds, no problem. So I'm going to do that. So we take the lead. We get the ball to half. Everything's good. I'm just, I mean, from the first couple possessions, you know whether someone's going to be a challenge or not. And this guy doesn't look like he's up to par. So we're going to go ahead and play. We're playing a little loose. Like I said, it's late in the night. We've been drinking a lot. That play that he scored had me drinking anyway. Hit the crossing around over here, Randy Moss. Great animation right there to stay up and not get hit, not get the ball stripped out. He goes a little man coverage here. Going for that post route again. Let's see if I can get you one time. Julio Jones doesn't come down with the ball. Maybe Julio, my Julio Jones has 98 speed. I think that should be fast enough. I mean, only one that could be fast is Tyreek Hill or Moss or somebody like that. And you see Calvin Johnson making plays on a little drag route. Get the ball underneath to your playmakers. Help them make plays. Third and inches, of course. I can never run the ball on third and inches. Get to a fourth and three. We're going to go for it. Plays man coverage. Kind of got everybody bagged up right now. Looking for something. Looking for something. Scramble, scramble back. Dallas Clark, I'm going to find you, baby. Make up for all them drops so far in the game. Touchdown, first down, Dallas Clark. So now we go up 10, man. The game's feeling like it's in the bag. Let's go ahead and have some fun. That's what it's about, man. That's why people watch. I mean, obviously, you're going to watch people run the clock out, take a knee here and there. And, of course, Tyreek Hill, speaking of taking knees, he made me take a knee with this kick return. Just try to tackle him with Clowney. That's all. Don't give up a touchdown. It's okay that he got in the field goal range. Let's just go ahead and try to make a stop. And the first play he goes right to Cam Bam Chancellor. Got to get a better stop and go right here. Really sloppy. I guess Cam just doesn't have the agility or whatever it is. That was sloppy stick work. Should have been a touchdown. High ball to Julio. Doesn't come down with it. Okay, that's okay. Run the ball with Ricky. Break a tackle. Of course, only W breaks tackles for a loss of four yards. Third and 14. Got to make a play here. Corner route, Randy Moss, high ball, bada bing, first down, 12-yard line. Underneath, a little drop over there by Julio, man, that's okay. Going to try to score a touchdown here, really put the game away. High ball to Randy, caught it, but somehow his feet didn't get in. You guys tell me how his feet didn't get in right there. I thought they were pretty good. Next play, we're going to scramble with Vic, spin move, double spin move. Of course, we're going to fumble because that's why they watch. You got to keep the games close for the stream. Nobody wants to watch a blowout. You know, they want to watch somebody fight, and if he goes down too many, you know, your viewers will turn out. That's why you got to keep the games close. It is a streamer or something that you learn in streamer boot camp. Keep the games close. You know, you can't have YouTube footage if you're blowing everybody out all the time. Underneath, Auto Strafe caught me right there. Would not let me come back and play that drag aggressively like I wanted to. He's starting to kill me now with the high-low between the streak to the tight end, the running back flat. Bunch of different things he's going to. He actually high balls the running back flat there. So he, so this has been his most successful drive going to this doubles with the high ball. And this one thing I hate about the game, stop letting them overthrow passes when they're going to throw a pick. Have you guys noticed that, that when someone's about to throw a pick right to your user, they help them overthrow it? And that's what happened there. Hits the field goal, makes it a one-score game. If I get a first down, the game is over. No big deal. But like I said, that's not why they watch. Obviously, we can come out here and run the ball, run the clock out, be boring, but that's really not what we're about. And the first play, he swats it down with Lawrence Taylor. Second play, he's going to get a shed right here. Sack, not sack, but knock the ball away, back-to-back -back knockaways. Next play, he's looking. I got the curl playmaker, Dallas Clark. That time, he did not get the hit stick animation. Boom, caught that right in the middle of the field. Next play, we're going to a little cover two again. Dallas Clark is on that hitch. We're going to go up top four, and of course, Ed Reed, I believe. Ed Reed comes over and picks that off. And I don't know what he stumbled on, but thank God he stumbled. That's rough, but, you know, hey, that's why they watch. Keep the game close. Let's see if this kid can go down and make a touchdown, score a touchdown, and keep this game uh, or give himself a chance. But, you know, he likes throwing the ball to Patrick Peterson. Interception. Now the game is over. I can just run the ball. 
take my three, go up 10, 10 points. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and freestyle. We're going to try to make something happen. But we'll get down before we get hit right there. Bobby Wagner got the sack. Second down, Ricky, I just, um, listen, when I run, I promise, when good players run the ball, they just can't, <laughs> they can't move it. Corner route, Dallas Clark. You got to see Dallas Clark is dominating this game, having a huge game for me, always getting open. Now we can really just run the clock out, run the ball there. We're going to pass right here. We just screamed at by Bobby Wagner. Sheesh, big time play by him. I should just run the ball, make him use his timeout, something like that. But we're going to get screamed that again. Vic brace a sack. Boom. So he uses timeout. So the game's over. Make this field goal two possessions. But you know what? Like I said, that's not why they watch. We're going for the fake to end the game. Gruger Hill gets wrapped up so easily by Darius Slay. Jeez, that was a crazy rush off the edge. Had no chance with the fake. But you know who had a chance? The Predator. Clowny again. I love that card. Getting to Michael Vick. Next play again, he has nobody to throw to. He's trying to come out in this tight. I'm sending 11 people at him. Over high ball right there. Over throw, fourth and 18. Give this guy so many chances he can't commit. Just bang, right there. Throws right at me. Can't convert my ball. Turnover on downs. I didn't like the way my man Camus Gruger Hill got hit up. I'm going to try this fake again. Let's see if I can get busy with him. We got the out of position kicker so we can have somebody that can tackle on kickoffs. And he's faster to run the fake. You get out of here. But he's getting hip to it. So, you know what? You know what, kid? You're getting a little too high. Let me just go ahead and kick this field goal. I can pop a 58-yarder, right? What? I missed it? 20, 25 seconds. First play. High ball. Shannon Sharp. Of course I miss a hit stick. And he takes it to the Baja. And this kid has nuts. He's going to go for two to win the game. Of course you got to go for two to win the game. You know? That's what's going to happen. I mean, if, if someone lets you back in the game like this, you have to go for two. So this kid comes out, freshman phenom. He's going to cook a dot up. I don't know what I'm expecting right here. I'm pretty much just going to play zone. Got to spy Michael Vick down here in the goal line. He goes with a nice little play with a bunch of hitches. Finds Calvin Johnson. Holds on to it. I'm down by one. I just donated a game. I'm 22-1 and one right now. Donated a game playing around, drinking too much. But you know what? Like I said a million times, YouTube, this is why they watch. Regardless of how much I drink, how much I mess around, I'm still a Madden champion. And what Madden champions do is they convert in this situation, and that's what we got to do. We did not return the kick because that would waste four seconds. I need all 17 seconds to get in the field goal range. I have two timeouts. Everything's available to me. Uh, 17 seconds kind of breaks down to three or four plays. So each play, I got to pick up 10-plus yards. Like I said, everything's available. Middle of the field, I can hit anything. I'm looking for an out route to the Clark, slant, or the deep crossing route, one or the other. He blitzes everybody out me and leaves Dallas Clark wide open. So I'll gladly take my 20 yards and get out of bounds. Perfect play. It took five seconds, and we got 20 yards. Next play, we hold in the pocket. Michael Vick hit the crossing route over the row, and I can't believe it. Last play of the game. I got a chance. We're going to high ball Dallas Clark. Get down before the clock runs out. Call timeout because I'm that clutch. But my man, Gruger Hill, missed that 58-yarder. So can I kick? I might have to kick it full power this time. Not go for the line. I'm going for the red. I need a full power kick. 100% power. Obviously, we need the accuracy because I have a linebacker, a kicker. Got to make sure he doesn't block it. Point that arrow down. We're going full power. Bang, not a perfect kick, so he could block. I got to hold it. Trust it. Can can Gruger Hill make this 58-yard field goal for the win after I messed around, after I gave this guy the game? Can he make the field goal? It is good. GG's in the chat, man. No matter how much you mess around or how drunk you get or how much fun you have on Weekend League, always remember, we're here to win the games. And if you're a champion, play like a champion. Need.